Hi, welcome to this edition of Inside DCPS. I'm Shelley Hammonds, and today we're on site at our Transportation Department with the new Director of Transportation, Downey Ward. So Downey, tell us about yourself before you came to Davis County. Well, before I came here, uh, well, I, I graduated from Apollo High School in uh, 1978, <laughs> 100 years ago, uh, and then uh, graduated from Eastern in 1982, uh, bachelor's in geology, and then uh, went into the Navy right after that. I uh, received my commission in uh, December of uh, 1982 in uh, the United States Navy and then 20 years later retired and uh, we were out in uh, San Diego, California mm -hmm. and then just uh, decided to come back here, uh, had some uh, family health issues had to take care of so moved back here 2002 and uh, 2004 I uh, got on with the uh, city of Owensboro as uh, managing the sanitation department for the city and uh, just recently re uh, resigned from there to uh, to come here in uh, January of this year 2018. Well we're lucky to have you but what made you want to come to Davis County Public Schools? Uh, it's just the you know public service uh, uh, some uh, deceased person <laughs> said that uh, uh, public service is the highest honor so you know, I've always been uh, interested in public service. You know, did that with the with the city, and this was another form of public service, more a lot more precious cargo. Mm -hmm. uh, so just looking at that and the the opportunities uh, that it afforded, uh, knowing some of the people uh, in the DCPS family, uh, it was a good bunch of people, and uh, I followed my instincts, and uh, they were true. Everybody that I've uh, encountered since in the month that I've been here very helpful, uh, very special. Everybody's very passionate about what they do, very dedicated. Uh, so it's, uh, I made the right choice when I decided to come here and I'm glad that they accepted me. Uh, with your background of military and then in sanitation, you come to Davis County and especially the Transportation Department with a whole different background than we've seen before. So what do you see as a big challenge or some obstacles you face now in this role? Uh, the only obstacle is just my own ignorance, which is not a bad thing. It just means I haven't learned yet. It's just the, the rhythm, uh, the procedural things. Uh, the passion is always mm -hmm. there, you know, knowing what is important in life and knowing that the, the next generation is the ones that are, are either going to take care of us in our old age or just take us out into the forest and leave us. So I'd, <laughs> I'd rather be taken care of. Uh, so it's just, uh, yeah, all kidding aside, they are the future. Mm -hmm they are a community's future, uh, getting them safely to and from, you know, their, their place of education uh, is of the highest importance, and making that connection on a day-to-day -day basis, that friendly face, uh, you know, and just the, the challenge of uh, working with, not much of a challenge with the true professionals that we've got working here. They already know their jobs. They care, you know, you can Still teach them driving, mm -hmm. but I can't teach the compassion Absolutely. that they've, I've found in the people that work here that are dedicated to the children and uh, getting them to and from. So I'm happy to be part of that, you know, and uh, help them as much as possible flourish in, in their chosen uh, avocation. And uh, so, like I said, it's, it's all big, one big synergistic uh, ball of yarn here <laughs> that we're going to uh, try to keep going. Wonderful. Well, do you have anything that may be new in our future with our with our transportation, or are we just going to any new envisions, or just kind of we, what we do already works, and so we're just going to keep moving forward? It's you know you're always aware of new technologies, uh, new procedural things, uh, how we can better service the community, um, you know how anytime you're dealing with other people's money, you're mm -hmm. always looking for efficiencies Absolutely. and things of that nature. Uh, but it's just fostering that uh, that caring and uh, loving and providing nurturing environment. Uh, safety always on the outlook for a better way, a safer way to do things, but always in the back of the mind, the most efficient way possible. We're obligated because of any public service mm -hmm. organization to do that, but you know, without losing the the primary focus, which is the safe transport uh, of the children to and from. So anything that we could cross, you know, we're always looking. We're always open to new ideas, and. Uh, you know, always watching other districts and, you know, throughout the nation and any kind of mm -hmm. policies and procedures that may apply. And, uh, you know, it, it's easy to, to look, you know, so always looking. Well, our district is very lucky to have you, but it sounds like our students are even more lucky. I, I hope so. Well, thank you for coming on board. Thank you very much. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Inside DCPS.